what's happening guys Elton here I'm uh, I'm in the Point Claire sector of Montreal here at a town of Point Claire here in the waste island just kidding West Island the burbs that's a very old suburb too as well look at a uh, look how fucking old this overpass here is for Boulevard des Sources Boulevard it's neat too there's that kind of an arch thing kind of like McDonald's or the St. Louis arch and since we're near the airport look at there's a jetliner on takeoff Oh, hey, sorry about that guys, but man when I hear those diesels humming I spring into action And when I mean diesels, I don't mean just trucks. I mean especially trains. Holy shit two fucking trains going side by side in the same direction Almost at the same speed one CN and one fucking CP there. How cool is that both heading west at about the same speed side by side? That is amazing amazing timing Wow, and me was hoping I figured well, I'll film a walk here on Cardinal Street and uh, maybe I'll fucking get a, a, a freight. Well, there you go, man. I get two fucking for the price of one. That's only ever happened one time uh, a few years ago. It was at Dorval Station, winter time of all times. Beautiful day, though. And again, two fucking trains, CP, CN going fucking pretty much side by side. But this shot, I think, was even cooler because they weren't wide apart. You know what I mean? Like, the tracks are right next to each other. So, anyway, uh, yeah. So uh, that's cool, man. Right on. So especially makes up for this fucking shit weather we've been having. But at least the good part is there's no wind, so that's really cool. And uh, I was gonna take the 204, but I missed it. Fucking hybrid scrap, of course. And what's the other one going the other way that I saw earlier? Hybrid scrap, of course. And what a surprise! Look, some asshole fucking busted the windows here too. See, if it were up to me, <clears throat> there wouldn't be no fucking fine for this shit. No, 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 no. Straight to jail. Seriously, a few days, a couple of days, three days. Let them fucking give them time to think about what they fucking did. Because there's other countries that don't put up with that shit. And there's no fucking graffiti. There's no broken glass or litter anywhere. An eye for an eye, okay? Whoa, man, that don't look good. Look at that, ain't eh? that? That's not really good. It's a fucking really old overpass. Fucking probably dates back to the 50s, 60s. I'm going to guess late 50s because highways mostly were built anyway. Or interchanges and turnpikes and so forth were made. Because of the motoring age, which started really in the 50s, post-war era. You know what I mean? So I'm wondering if I film a, if I film, oh man, you know, if I film a fucking uh, freight going by, uh, some of them are short, some of them are long. So I don't know what am I going to do. Am I going to film it all? I don't think so if it's long because already, as you know, these fucking videos are like, now I span them between, what, 10 and 20 minutes. You know what I mean? I'm not going to fucking half an hour oh excuse me where's the sign there it is love that about Point Claire they have these nice legible signs or like Point Claire or Dorval oh my god I don't know anymore I saw that oh, yeah well of course it's Point Claire those uh, those boys were cleaning up all that fucking mess up there where the glasses there it was all busted fucking idiot see again I don't believe in violence but when you do shit like that what I would do I would give that person a good smack seriously just you know discipline you know, like most of us who are Generation X or Baby Boomer, we had discipline. We had fucking discipline to keep us in line. What the hell's wrong with that one? Now you can't smack your kids anymore. You can't hit them anymore because then the, the fucking Child Protection Services are going to get involved. Give me a fucking break. It's a fine line. You know? Smack. Give a smack to your kid. Give him a smack on the ass. That doesn't mean to fucking beat him up. See what I mean? But people don't take things out of fucking, out of proportion today, out of context. Prince Charles, oh boy, you know you're in a fucking really, uh, really fucking bloke area, eh? Prince Charles Street. <laughs> Next street is Lady Die. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I like that old fucking uh, Chevy. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Yes, sir. Vlogging. Look at this fucking GM, GM. Another GM. <laughs> oh my God, where am I? Uh, First the two CP trains, fucking Cadillac, fucking Camaro, and look at this old fucking Buick here. Wow, and it's red on top of that. And an ugly fucking element. Oh my god, I can't stand that. I'd rather have that mini. And it's rush hour here in beautiful, beautiful, uh, god, I don't know if anymore if I'm in Point Claire or Dorval, for Christ's sake, I actually come to think of it. Yeah, maybe if I'm lucky to be in an old car parked on the side here somewhere, I could make a video. Yesterday I spotted, I was out in RDP, uh, Montreal North yesterday, and uh, 
I spotted a fucking, uh, what was it? It was like an 87 to 90 Pontiac Bonneville, which might be still common in some parts of North America, but not around here. This is the Rust Belt. Plus, compared to GM, GM uh, similar cars, they were not good cars, very good cars, I should say. You would think, well, it's GM, it's all the same. No, no, not necessarily. Not necessarily. You would think back in the day a Pontiac Ventura, which was basically a Pontiac version of a Chevy Nova, was a good car. No, it wasn't as good as the Nova. I don't know. Anyway, by the way, it's 1st of November, if I didn't mention that. Look at that, Buick number 2. Ah, same type, Buick Allure, Lucerne, whatever the hell it is. I'm going to spy in your yarn here. <laughs> I'm going to fucking look and take a peek. <laughs> Oh, God, I don't like electric fucking hybrids. I don't like, uh, you know, this is, oh, 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 here comes the freight. I'm going to stop a second. Is that train coming? That's a via. I don't know why I stopped. I, had a, I couldn't have been afraid. I just filmed two fucking freight trains going uh, head to head, fuck, both going west. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I do what I do. Christ, it's cold, though. Look at how old that house is. I guarantee you that house is probably even older than 50s. Let's say even 40s. Burr. I see a lot of old cars around here, though. Seriously, I think maybe one day I'll, uh, next year I'll come back here with my bike and, uh, I don't know, take the fucking train with it. I don't know, but I'd like to go for a bike ride right here because I've seen a lot of old cars around here. Yeah. And now we are at Stratmore. Yeah, I think every town that's English in Montreal has a fucking street called Stratmore. Oh fuck, there's another train there, I think. Oh, it's a, it's a commuter. Commuter, you get the commuter, you get the via, you get some beautiful fall foliage. Make up for all this fucking, uh, make up for all this bloody colorless days around. Boy, those Fords look weird, eh? Back up that EMD. Right on. There you go. You guys get it all today. Old houses. You get modern, boring cars. Well, nice color though. And you get trains. And trains are awesome. Trains! And planes! You get planes taking off! The hub of transportation in Montreal is doorbell. Got here. Air Canada. Foggy friggin' day. Yeah, and they had, yesterday they said it was gonna be sun today. Yeah, right. I knew it wasn't gonna be any fucking sun today. They said sunny with, uh, no, they said cloudy with sunny breaks. Bullshit! I knew it wasn't gonna be any fucking sun today. What the hell is this thing? Some sort of public security, ex security. Yeah, I never come uh, around this street very often to do train spotting because the lighting is. Never where I want it. I think I'd have to come here, like, fucking come to think of it early in the morning. But, uh, hey, uh, I don't live nearby, you know? I live friggin', uh, friggin', uh, friggin', uh, friggin', uh, friggin', uh, friggin uh, Hashla, 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 oh, I can smell that diesel from that locomotive. You have to pardon me. I'm a little out of whack there. I'm a little, uh, a little bit tired there. I've been out here for a couple hours, it seems. Would seem, anyway. And now we're at Cardinal, Calznal, and... Starling. Starling, Starling, Starling. I just fucking realized something is that I think these streets actually consider, con consider, they continue on the other side of the tracks, on the other side of the highway. See? Nice old homes, eh? That looks fucking strange. Oh, look at these doors. They look so out of place for that kind of a house. Uh, what are you going to do? People's obsession with black. Oh, it looks good. It's black. Everything goes well with black. I knew a chick with a Fiat 500 like that. Yeah. But uh, I don't know if I didn't mention it though. I'm uh, pretty lucky today though. It's not. Uh, it's a nice color. It's not not windy though. It's decent, you know. There's nothing worse with the cold is when it's wind. That's crap. Roxborough? Roxborough. 
That's funny about that construction name, that con construction company, that truck that went by, it's called Roxboro. Oh, fucking stinks horrible. And yet I lived in a town called Roxboro, which kind of looked like this, just an old suburb. You know. Oh, look at this, they made a bike path. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Yeah, Neptune. Okay, this is a street though. Anybody is a, tr a plane fan. This could be a good place to come do some plane spotting, actually, if you can get here easily to the end of the street, which is actually kind of far, I think. Especially uh, if the planes are on landing, uh, landing approach from this way, because then they come in pretty close. But uh, I only went there once. Oh, uh, snap, there's the 204. Here comes the hybrid scrap. You know? And I don't feel like fucking looking at it. So right now we're gonna go for the backwards walk man. I'm the backwards walking man. I'm the backwards walking man. Yeah. Also, I'm looking out for trains as well. Just a bossy brush waste. Fucking shit. Damn it, I keep forgetting I gotta make a fucking walking video in French. I don't know why I keep forgetting about that. I make my. I tell myself to make a fucking mental note of it, and I just forget. I don't know why. Why? Why? We, tracks, we check for trains. That's what I do. That's why I get the big bucks. Yeah, right. I don't make any big bucks. Are you kidding me? Jesus Christ. I'll tell you if I fucking made big bucks, if, if I was very good looking, if I was younger, B, and uh, see if I wasn't so fucking weird. See where I'm going with all this? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know how long I'm going to film for. I want to see if I can show you, I can get the other scrap there uh, going towards the airport there. Because like I said, I'm tired and uh, I need a rest because I'm getting old. Fuck, I'm going to be 45. Uh, uh, 45. <laughs> I'm going to be 43 on Christmas Eve. Graham Street. Oh, 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 there's a freight son of a bitch coming in all quiet. I barely heard it. Holy shit. Oh, oil train. Looks like it. Uh. Okay, that one I fucking didn't even hear it coming. And uh, it's not the best view anyway, so I'm not sure I'll be uploading that separately. Well, ah, with my other sh my other train shenanigans. I love that word. I love all the old school words. Yeah. Nice if an old car drove by, especially since I said there was a, quite a few of them around here. But we're at November 1st, the fucking most depressing month of the year, eh? And now we're gonna fucking uh, bring the clocks back an hour. Uh, well, that's a bunch of bullshit as an in itself. I don't even know why the fuck we even do that anymore. You know why daylight savings was invented? It was invented during World War II to save our fucking the, 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 the cost of, of heating with coal. You know, so why, why, why are we doing it now? What's the point of that now? What's the point? I don't know. Ooh, what's that? That's a Monte Carlo. Oh boy, most of the Italian lives here. Fucking Monte Carlo. Oh, 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 no, Norfolk Southern Engine. Oh, shit. So fucking clean, look at that. Oh. I'd be going to the States. Anyway, yeah, and like I said, it must be an Italian maybe who has this Monte Carlo because uh, look at that fucking spread. Look at all the bushes and all the details and everything, the beauty of it all. Wow. Uh, yeah, but you know, I could be wrong. Eh? Avila Lago. Who the fuck is that? Who the hell is Avila? What kind of name is that? Look at this ugly thing. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. I don't know why I have an 80s song in my head. Look at this. You know, for years you would never see these cars practically, fucking Ford 500 here in Montreal. Now all of a sudden I've been seeing tons of them. Is it all, is, are all these people like ex, ex fucking, uh, are all these people like ex, uh, ex uh, patriots, ex Americans? They uh, changed uh, their citizenship to Canada? Look at the lights on that Beamer. It's a fucking clean Beamer though. Old fucking 3 Series, 1990s. Yeah, floor that fucker. No one lived once. Just drive safe. 
Anyway, the song, look at it, two CRVs. There's my uh, stepfather's car. You remember that song, Can You Hear Me? Can you hear me calling? Can you hear me calling? Da -na 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 -na. Yeah. Your purse. Oh, you see, the train was nice and short, eh? Short and sweet. I remember one time I walked here once and uh, they were uh, repaving the street. It was nice, beautiful. It was a beautiful, uh, I think, yeah, beautiful fall uh, day actually. Oh, look at that! Nice! A fucking Land Cruiser! Old fucking Land Cruiser, circa late 90s. I have an ad for one of those. If you're interested in it, check out my Kijiji. You can check out all my wares you want, that you want to see what I have, my vintage ads and photos I've taken, all that, all that original shit. You can see it on my Kijiji page. Just uh, go to my retro old school homepage and you'll see at the bottom right of the picture, or as they call channel art <laughs> which i change frequently by the way it changes almost every day just for fun and uh yeah you can see that ad and you can see a lot of other stuff uh there are all kinds of ads from oh my god the 40s and up 30s and up 2000s almost what else and uh oh yeah also another thing too uh, since i'm a just a poor uh, artist uh, with who's bipolar and eccentric visually impaired uh, if you uh, want to uh, support my cause here and you love what you see, uh, please uh, don't hesitate to uh, send a little donation or a major donation because some of you got more money than you know what to fucking do with it anyway. And I don't. I don't have any savings or anything. And uh, you can uh, send that to me. Oh, old Dodge uh, fucking flat black uh, old fucking Ram there. I think it's six. Oh, look at this. Nice, nice colored. Uh, nah, all right. I'm sorry. I get distracted very easily. Holy cow. Anyway, like I was saying, uh, you can send a little something or a lot of something if you want this to me. At uh, My email is eltonmcfall at hotmail.com. E-L-T-O-N-M-C-F-A-L-L -L at hotmail.com. And that's an email uh, for payments to my PayPal account. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, let's see. I wonder if I'll be able to catch that 204. Uh, I'm keeping an eye on it. I'm gonna wrap this up, I think, soon. I got a feeling I might be get lucky and catch another from another train because this is where there's really the most amount of freight trains in this city is later in the day and in the evening when they're, you know, the freight yards are done wrapping them up, putting them all together. So I'm not fucking gonna film this whole goddamn street, that's for sure. But what I was thinking about earlier, what I wish I could get out here one day would be amazing because right now we're near the airport. Is to get the fucking uh, Montreal Fire Department, uh, the airport fire department responding. That would be outstanding. Outstanding, man. Oh, look at this. Fucking nice. Very nice old Tacoma. There you go, Dave. Eat your heart out, baby. <laughs> Tacoma's rule. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, look at this fucking size of cell phone tower over here. Yeah, I know. I know. Strip mall. Look at that. Fucking car wash. Lave auto is French for car wash and à la main means hand car wash. Yeah, boy, you know, I remember I spotted a beautiful old Mercury Marquis parked over here once, late 80s, early 90s. It was a sweet ride. Yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah, fuck, relax, fuck. I gotta walk, you know. Oh, look. That looks like the Honda Accord that I filmed. Is it? It's not even the same one. Or is it? Because there's one exactly like that that I filmed last week at my mom's place when I went for supper, but it had its hubcaps back on. And fuck, Christ, the car's over 30 years old. It's a 90 to 92, you know? Built to last. Mileage? Who knows? Yeah, 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 yeah. The Kim Bob Cafe. All right. Oh man, I'm getting kind of hungry. Okay, uh, okay, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that. That's friggin uh, bus there because it's gonna come soon I think I know I didn't miss it what is this here plaza what oh that fucking motor sounds good plaza Adio Paul the airport plaza <laughs> where's the fucking bus stop oh shit I forgot the bus the bus doesn't run by here it goes off in these fucking streets oh crap oh crap Oh crap. Actually, you know what? If I come to think of it, I've just thought of something. There's that fucking Land Cruiser again. Interesting. Hey, I tell you, these fucking Land Cruisers, they were never common 
uh, when I was a kid, all of them. Seriously, the, the Forerunner you saw it, not the Land Cruiser though. Oh, God, I wish I didn't forget my phone right now because I need to to know what the hell time it is. I'm thinking about taking a goddamn AMT train. Frankly, AMT commuter. Tempted, tempted by the fruit of another. Tempted, but the truth is discovered. Hey, by the way, I want to thank you all. All you guys who sent me something, a little donation, a little uh, financial uh, appreciation there. appreciate that to all you guys. Whether it was little or large, it's really... I want you to guys to know, like I told my mom, my stepfather, when I went to see them for supper the other day, you know, I said, you know, it's, it's great when you get comments from people who appreciate your videos and to hear when it makes a difference in their day or their morning, whatever, their life. Oh shit, there's the fucking 204 going the other way. Well, holy shit, there you go. I'm gonna end this at this fucking uh, AMT station anyway. What was I saying now? Yeah, anyway, so, uh, uh, but you know, when people actually send you money and they never met you in person, that's very, uh, very heartwarming, very gratifying. Uh, it makes me feel so valued, you know, it's, it's like, it's like if you're working a job that you enjoy doing, you know, and your boss tells you, or people tell you at your job that you're appreciated, that you're doing a good job, it's fucking great. That's what the whole point of life is, I think, in my opinion, is to find something you like doing, especially if you do it so much that you would do it for free. That's how much you love doing, and, and you get paid for it. Now, of course, my goal is to get paid handsomely for this stuff, but I mean... Pfft, that's not obvious, not at all, you know? Oh shit, there's another Okay train. guys, that's it, I'm just wrapping it up here. I just filmed that Via train going by. And uh... Oh, is that an old car? Come on, zoom. Zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Anyway guys, like I said, that's it. Look, another nice Tacoma, yeah man. Mm -hmm. So, uh, hope you enjoyed this here. And like I said, if you want to send, uh, if you can, if you can, uh, you know, you want to spare a few bucks, it makes a little bit of difference in my day as well to uh, show your love, your appreciation. Well, love, so to speak. And uh, if you can, I mean, don't fucking send me any money if you barely you don't have any or you're living in the red like me. Come on. Like, I'm like fucking, uh, what, negative 400 bucks right now? <laughs> Every month, I'm lucky to pay the rent only because... <laughs> Only because the bank's been allowing me an overdraft for like a few months now. And, uh, man, I don't know what used to be here, eh? And by the way, if you don't know what overdraft is, overdraft is basically like a bank credit your bank gives you. Uh, but uh, that is to say, not like a credit card, but like if you go into the red, you know, let's say like a check or you made or, you know, withdrawing cash, you're going to red, well, the bank will allow it as long as they eventually get their money back. So, anyway, there you go. Bye-bye.